this gets into the whole idea of, of inventory. So what, what is inventory and, and how do we use that idea? In... Well, it's managing your inventory of solids. And that it's... gets back to the fact that every wastewater plant sees variable loadings. Mm -hmm. So what you see as an incoming TSS load or BOD load today is going to be different tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So when treatment plants when you're looking at how you manage your sludge inventory, are you keeping a constant mixed liquor or are you trying to keep a constant SRT? Mm -hmm. If you're keeping a constant mixed liquor, then you're going to have an ever-changing SRT. And sometimes people wonder, why why did I suddenly have a breakthrough of ammonia? But when you go back and look at the data, you find out that your SRT drifted too low mm -hmm. and suddenly you didn't have enough nitrifiers to do the whole job and you bled ammonia through into the effluent. So controlling on a constant mixed liquor, which is what a lot of the handbooks say to do for operations, can sometimes lead you down a path to over waste mm -hmm. or not hold enough solids in the system to fully nitrify. Right. That's why if you take and control your system off of a constant SRT, your mixed liquor is going to vary with your load, but you keep the bugs in the same age group the same population so that you always have sufficient organisms to be able to take care of all the BOD. That's the easy part, but you have enough to fully nitrify all the time. Mm -hmm. So in this day and age when EPA is changing the basis for your ammonia limits and the ammonia limits are going down, becoming more strict, we have to pay more attention to the SRT because we have to be more perfect in ammonia removal all the time. Mm -hmm. As you go from season to season, you're SRT is going to change significantly yeah. because the bugs grow faster, do more digestion work in the summer than they right. do in the winter. So you really do need to adjust your SRT or your mixed liquor concentration to maintain yeah. a workable SRT so that leads different another, times of the year. Another, another question then, Ed, is, is, uh, that follows on from that is how, how do we pick a, an SRT? What's, what's the, the, the lo how low can we go on our SRT or how high do we need to be? Well, that's a point of debate amongst a lot of people. Um, if you go back and look at the original MOP-8, you know, there is a graph in there that shows the uh, SRT for the nitrifiers. Mm -hmm. And what we're finding out with all of the advanced modeling, if you run right at that minimum SRT for nitrification, you're going to find that some days things work good, mm -hmm. some days ammonia breaks through. Mm -hmm. Because you're right on the ragged edge of having just enough microbes to be able to do the full job of nitrification. So you typically put a safety factor on top of that. So mm -hmm. how much safety factor are you comfortable with? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got some clients that a 10% safety factor is all they want, mm -hmm. and others want 100%. Mm -hmm. So we kind of look at a rule of, well, not so much a rule of thumb, but kind of a design guidance of what we've used over the years is if you maintain a six-day SRT at 20 degrees C and a 10-day SRT at 10 degrees C, then you're going to produce a system that always nitrifies all year round, from mm -hmm. season to season. It's a safe place to be. Mm -hmm. But if you're wanting to be a little more adventurous, you know, cut those numbers in half. And so you're talking three days at 20 and five days at 10 degrees. And that's kind of where you're pushing the envelope of right. starting to see some significant breakthrough. If you're monitoring it and controlling it properly, then you can eat into that safety factor a little bit. Whereas if you're not paying attention to it, you better be in the safe area and, and it's, easy, easy life kind of. It's not just paying attention to it. It all depends upon who is upstream. Mm. If you've got just domestic waste where it is really predictable from one day to the next what your load's going to be, mm. yeah, you can kind of not pay attention to it so closely because things aren't going to change very fast. If you have a major industry in town whose loads vary from day to day, mm -hmm. you really do have to watch it close because your SRT, operating SRT or your mixed liquor concentrations can vary tremendously from day to day mm -hmm. based upon what comes down the sewer from other outside sources, industrial sources. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the main culprits of that. Mm -hmm. By the way, Kelly's cookies are really nice. They should. Uh, you can save I'm them for later. At them looking at them. Uh, yeah. <laughs>